Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Paying monthly bills. Kids, gather around. It's time we had a family conversation about something important. Paying our monthly bills. Oh, is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. We just want you to understand how managing finances is an essential part of family life. We work hard to provide for all of us, and paying bills is one of our responsibilities. I get it, but what exactly are these bills? Good question. Bills are the costs we have to cover each month for things like electricity, water, internet, and our mortgage. They ensure we have a comfortable home and access to necessary services. So, how do we pay them? We set aside a portion of our income each month to cover these expenses. It's important that we prioritize them to avoid any late fees or service interruptions. Can we help in any way? Absolutely. We can all contribute by being mindful of our energy usage, turning off lights when we're not in a room, and conserving water. We can also brainstorm ways to save money together. That sounds fair. We'll do our best to be more mindful and help out. That's great to hear. Remember, this is a team effort, and by working together, we can manage our monthly bills effectively and ensure a secure and comfortable family life. We're in it together. Doing household chores. Hey, everyone, let's have a family discussion about our household chores. Oh, do we have to talk about chores again? Yes, it's important. Doing household chores teaches us responsibility and helps maintain a clean and organized home. But it's boring. Chores may not always be exciting, but they're necessary. Let's find a way to make them more enjoyable. How? We can turn chores into a game or set a timer to see who can complete their tasks fastest. We can even play music and have a little dance party while cleaning. That actually sounds fun. Great. Also, let's divide the chores fairly. Each of us has a role in taking care of our home. Can we choose our chores? Sure. Let's create a chore chart together and assign tasks based on our abilities and preferences. I like the idea of having a chart. It feels more organized. That's the spirit. Remember, when we all contribute, our home becomes a more pleasant place for everyone. All right, let's get started. Who's up for a cleaning challenge? Count me in. Let's make it a fun and productive day. I'm ready to take on the challenge too. Grocery shopping. Hey, family. Let's have a chat about grocery shopping. Yay! I love going to the grocery store. That's great to hear because we need your help in making good choices. What can we do? We can start by planning our meals together. Let's brainstorm ideas for healthy and delicious meals we want to have this week. Can we also make a shopping list? Absolutely. We'll create a list together 
and each of you can add items you think we need. Can we look for discounts and deals too? That's a fantastic idea. We can check the store's website or app for special offers and use coupons to save money. Should we stick to the list? Yes, sticking to the list helps us avoid impulsive purchases and stay within our budget. Can we help with carrying the groceries? Of course. We'll divide the bags and each of you can carry a portion. It's a team effort. I'm excited to be part of this. We're glad you're excited. Grocery shopping is not just about buying food, but also about learning how to plan, budget, and make healthy choices. Let's go shopping and conquer the grocery store together. That's the spirit. Off we go, team. Family morning routine. Good morning, everyone. It's time to wake up and start our day. Uh, do we have two? Just five more minutes, please. Come on, sleepy Ed. We have a busy day ahead. Rise and shine. Okay, okay, I'm up. What's on the agenda today? Well, after breakfast, we'll all need to get ready for the day. Don't forget to brush your teeth and make your beds. Can I skip making my bed just this once? No excuses, kiddo. Making your bed is a good habit. That helps keep your room tidy. I'll make mine as well. But can we have pancakes for breakfast? Pancakes sound like a great idea. We can all pitch in and make a delicious breakfast together. Can I crack the eggs? Of course, but let's make sure to be careful. Safety first. I'll help mix the batter. It'll be fun. Fantastic. We'll have a team effort in the kitchen. And remember, after breakfast, it's time for school. So finish up quickly. Got it. Let's make this a productive day, everyone. That's the spirit. Now, let's get started on our family morning routine. Job hunting is too hard. Hey there, you look a bit down. Everything all right? Hi. Honestly, I've been feeling so frustrated lately. Job hunting is just proving to be way harder than I expected. I can totally relate. It's not an easy process, that's for sure. But hang in there, you'll find something eventually. Thanks for the support, but it's been months. And I've sent out countless applications. It feels like I'm hitting a dead end. I understand how discouraging that can be. Sometimes the job market can be tough and it's easy to doubt yourself. Exactly. I've even considered changing my approach or career path, but that's easier said than done. Maybe it's worth getting some feedback on your applications or seeking advice from professionals in your field. Sometimes a fresh perspective can make a difference. You're right. It's just that the uncertainty is really taking a toll on my morale. It's okay to feel that way. Don't hesitate to reach out to friends, mentors, or even career counselors. They can offer guidance and help you stay motivated. I appreciate your words. It's just tough not to feel discouraged, you know? I understand. Just remember that many successful people have faced setbacks too. It's about persevering and believing in your skills. Thanks for being so understanding. I'll keep pushing forward and hope for a breakthrough soon. That's the spirit. Keep your chin up and stay proactive. The right opportunity will come. Along and your hard work will pay off. I'll do my best. Thanks for listening and offering some much needed encouragement. Individual Initiative Hey, 
I couldn't help but notice your project display over there. It looks impressive. Thank you so much. It's all about individual initiative and making a positive impact. That's fascinating. Can you tell me more about what you've been working on? Sure. I've been involved in a community-driven initiative to promote eco-friendly practices. We're organizing local cleanup events, raising awareness about recycling, and even collaborating with schools for environmental education. That's really commendable. It's not every day you see someone take such proactive steps. I believe that every small action counts. If we all do our part, we can collectively make a significant difference. Absolutely. And it's inspiring to see someone take charge and lead by example. Thank you. It's been quite a journey, and seeing the community come together and embrace these changes is incredibly rewarding. I can imagine. It takes a lot of dedication and effort to initiate change, especially on a local level. It's true, but when you're passionate about a cause, it doesn't feel like work. Plus, the positive impact keeps me motivated. Well, your project is a shining example of what individual initiative can achieve. It's inspiring me to think about how I can make a difference too. That's wonderful to hear. Remember, even small actions can lead to significant changes. It's all about taking that first step. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Keep up the fantastic work. Thank you. And best of luck with your own initiatives. Together, we can create a better world. Ordering dishes. Hey, I'm starving after that long flight. Have you checked out the food options here? Absolutely, there's a decent variety. I just grabbed a menu from that cave over there. Nice. What are you thinking of getting? Well, they have some local specialties listed. I'm eyeing the grilled chicken with rice and their signature sauce. What about you? Oh, that sounds tempting. I might go for the vegetarian pasta though. I've been craving something light. Good choice. Traveling can make heavy meals feel even heavier. Plus, this way you can save room for dessert. Haha, <laughs> you read my mind. Dessert is a must. The options here look delightful. They've got cheesecake, chocolate mousse, and a fruit parfait. I'm leaning towards the cheesecake. Can't resist a good one. By the way, the cave also serves various drinks, coffee, teas, and some fresh juices. Perfect. I could use a strong coffee to shake off the travel fatigue. And I saw they have herbal teas too, which might help with relaxation. Agreed, traveling can be stressful. So grilled chicken and cheesecake for us, along with some caffeine and tea. Sounds like a plan. Let's place our orders and refuel before we head to baggage claim. Postgraduates fever. Hey there! You seem a bit restless. Everything okay? Yeah, it's just this postgraduate's fever, you know. I'm about to head abroad for my master's program, and the excitement is mixed with a touch of nervousness. Oh, I totally get it. Postgrad studies are a big step. Where are you off to? And what's your field of study? I'll be flying to the UK for a master's in international relations. It's been a dream, but now that it's happening, I can't help but feel the pressure. It's natural to feel that way. The unknown can be both thrilling and intimidating, but you're going to do great. Thanks for the encouragement. Sometimes I worry about the academic load and adjusting to a new place. You've got this. Remember, many people have gone through similar experiences and have come out stronger and more knowledgeable. I appreciate your confidence in me. 
It's also about making new friends and building connections, right? Absolutely. Your fellow postgrads will likely be feeling the same way. It's a chance to bond over shared experiences and support each other. True. It's just this mix of emotions eager to learn, excited to explore, and a tad anxious about the unknown. Embrace it all. This journey will shape you in ways you can't even imagine right now. And remember, every challenge you face will contribute to your growth. Thank you for the pep talk. I guess I just need to take a deep breath, trust the process, and give it my all. You've got the right attitude. Embrace the fever and make the most of this exciting time in your life. Safe travels and best of luck with your postgrad adventure. Thanks a lot. I'll definitely make the most of it. Mastering the Art of Self-Introduction in English Welcome, language enthusiasts and learners of English to a transformative journey. Have you ever found yourself lost for words when someone asks you to tell me about yourself in English? Fear not, for today, we're unlocking the secrets to crafting the perfect self-introduction that will leave a lasting impression. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Party. Hey, I don't think we've met before. I'm Anna. Tell me about yourself. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Peter. I work as a graphic designer for a creative agency. I've always had a passion for art and design. So it's amazing to have a career that allows me to express my creativity. Besides work, I love traveling and exploring different cultures. I find it incredibly inspiring to see the world through a new lens. That's fascinating. What's the most memorable place you've traveled to? It's hard to pick just one, but I'd say my trip to Japan was unforgettable. The vibrant culture, beautiful landscapes, and delicious cuisine made it an incredible experience. I was particularly fascinated by the attention to detail in Japanese design and architecture. Japan sounds amazing. I've always wanted to visit. What other hobbies or interests do you have? I love capturing moments and preserving memories. It allows me to combine my love for art and storytelling. I also enjoy hiking and being in nature. It's a great way to disconnect from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and find inner peace. That's wonderful. Your passion for art, travel, and photography is inspiring. It's been great getting to know you. Let's enjoy the rest of the party and maybe exchange some travel stories later. Thank you. I've enjoyed our conversation too. Let's definitely catch up later and share some travel tales. Cheers to a fun-filled evening. Networking event. Hi there, I'm John. It's great to meet you. Tell me about yourself. Hello, nice to meet you too. I'm Lily. I have a background in marketing and currently work as a brand strategist for a digital marketing agency. I love helping businesses develop their brand identities and create impactful marketing campaigns. Outside of work, I'm passionate about volunteering for local community organizations and engaging in social causes that make a positive impact. That's impressive. What motivated you to get involved in volunteering and social causes? Thank you. I've always believed in the power of giving back 
and making a difference in the community. Volunteering allows me to contribute my skills and time to causes I care about. It's incredibly fulfilling to see the positive impact we can make when we come together as a community. That's truly inspiring. What other interests or hobbies do you have? Apart from work and volunteering, I'm an avid reader and love exploring different genres of literature. Reading provides me with new perspectives and expands my knowledge. I also enjoy practicing yoga and meditation to maintain a healthy mind and body balance. That's wonderful. Your dedication to both professional and personal growth is admirable. It's been great getting to know you. Let's exchange contact information and stay connected. I believe there could be some exciting opportunities for collaboration in the future. Thank you. I feel the same way. Let's definitely stay in touch and explore potential collaborations. It's been a pleasure meeting you at this networking event. Here's my business card. Looking forward to connecting further. Likewise, thank you for sharing about yourself. Let's continue making valuable connections and enjoy the rest of the event. Meeting. Good afternoon, everyone. Before we dive into today's meeting, let's take a moment to introduce ourselves. Let's start with you. Please tell us a bit about yourself. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Lisa Anderson, and I recently joined the company as a project manager. I have over eight years of experience in the industry, managing complex software development projects. Prior to joining this company, I worked for a multinational corporation where I successfully led cross-functional teams and delivered projects within strict deadlines. Welcome aboard, Lisa. It's great to have your expertise on our team. Could you share any particular strengths or skills that you bring to the table? Certainly. One of my key strengths is my ability to effectively communicate and collaborate with team members stakeholders, and clients. I believe clear communication is crucial for project success. I'm also skilled in project planning, risk management, and problem solving, which help me ensure projects are delivered on time and within budget. Impressive. Lisa, how do you see yourself contributing to our current project? Thank you. I'm excited to contribute my project management skills and experience to this project. I'll focus on establishing clear goals, fostering collaboration among team members, and managing the project timeline and resources effectively. My goal is to ensure a smooth project execution and successful delivery that meets our clients' expectations. That sounds excellent, Lisa. We appreciate your dedication and expertise. Thank you for sharing about yourself. Let's continue with the meeting agenda and discuss the next steps. Thank you. I'm excited to work with all of you and contribute to the project's success. Let's make it a productive meeting. Ken, this is so scary. I can't believe mom. And Dad have been kidnapped. What are we going to do? I know, Sarah, but we need to stay strong. We have a list of requests from the kidnappers. And if we complete them, they promise to let Mom and Dad come back soon. Okay, let's focus. First, we need to make breakfast. I remember Mom's pancake recipe. We can try making it. That's a good idea. We'll do our best to make a delicious breakfast just like mom does. Next, we have to clean the entire house. We should start by picking up the mess and then dusting and vacuuming each room. We'll make the house spotless, Sarah. It's a big task, but we can do it together. 
We also need to buy groceries and vegetables. We'll have to make a shopping list and go to the store. Yes, and we'll be careful with the budget. We'll make sure to get everything we need and stick to the list. Lastly, there are things around the house that need fixing. We can try to repair them or find someone who can help us. We'll take it one step at a time, Sarah. We'll complete the requests, and hopefully mom and dad will be back soon. I am feeling tired today. Hey, how are you feeling today? Honestly, I am feeling tired today. I didn't sleep very well last night. I'm sorry to hear that. Did something happen? Not really. I just had a hard time falling asleep, and then I kept waking up throughout the night. That's rough. Maybe you should take a nap later to make up for it. That's a good idea. I was thinking about taking a break this afternoon and doing some meditation to help me relax. That sounds like a great idea. And if you want, I can cover for you for a little while. Thanks, that's really kind of you. I appreciate it. No problem. We all have days where we feel tired and need a break. Yeah, I just feel bad because I know we have a lot of work to do. Don't worry about it. Your health and well-being are more important than anything else. We can handle the work. Thanks, you're right. I'll take care of myself and then get back to it. Sounds good. And if you need anything, let me know. Will do. Thanks for being so understanding. Sorry for the inconvenience. Hi there, I'm sorry to bother you. I just realized that I made a mistake with the schedule and we need to reschedule our meeting for tomorrow. Oh, okay. That's no problem. Thanks for letting me know. Sorry for the inconvenience. I know it's short notice. No need to apologize. These things happen, and it's better to reschedule than to try to rush through a meeting. I appreciate your understanding. Is there a time tomorrow that works well for you? Let me check my calendar. How about 2 o'clock p.m.? That works for me. I'll send you a new invite for that time. Great. I'll look out for it. Is there anything else you need from me in the meantime? No, that's it for now. Again, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, and I appreciate your flexibility. Of course. We're all in this together, and I'm happy to be flexible when needed. Thanks for letting me know, and I'll see you tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Sounds good. Have a good rest of your day. You're a really talented artist. You're a really talented artist. Thank you so much. I've been working really hard to improve my skills. Well, it definitely shows. I love how unique and creative your artwork is. Thank you. I'm always trying to come up with new and interesting ideas. Have you ever thought about doing an art show or selling your work? Actually, yes. I've been considering putting together a collection and having an exhibit. That's a great idea. I'm sure a lot of people would love to see your work. Thank you. It's a little scary to put yourself out there, but I think it would be a great experience. Definitely. And you never know who might see your work and want to commission you for something. That's true. I've always wanted to make a career out of my art, 
but I've been too afraid to take the leap. Well, I have faith in you. You're incredibly talented, and I think you could definitely make a name for yourself in the art world. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Transportation Issues We have a major problem. There's a transportation issue, and our flight has been cancelled. Oh no, that's incredibly frustrating. Do you know why the flight got cancelled? It's due to bad weather conditions. The airport authorities announced that all flights have been grounded until further notice. That's really unfortunate timing. Did they provide any alternative arrangements or information on when the flights will resume? They said they're working on rescheduling the flights, but there's no clear timeline yet. They're also offering accommodation for passengers who need to stay overnight. All right, let's not panic. We'll find a solution. Have you spoken to the airline or checked if there are any alternative flights available? I've been trying to reach the airline, but their customer service lines are constantly busy. I'll keep trying, though. As for alternative flights, I haven't had much luck finding suitable options yet. Don't worry, we'll figure this out. Let's explore other modes of transportation. Are there any trains or buses that can get us to our destination? I haven't checked yet, but it's worth considering. We might have to be flexible with our plans and find alternative routes. I'll look into train and bus schedules. Sorry for the inconvenience. Hi there, I'm sorry to bother you. I just realized that I made a mistake with the schedule and we need to reschedule our meeting for tomorrow. Oh, okay. That's no problem. Thanks for letting me know. Sorry for the inconvenience. I know it's short notice. No need to apologize. These things happen and it's better to reschedule than to try to rush through a meeting. I appreciate your understanding. Is there a time tomorrow that works well for you? Let me check my calendar. How about 2 o'clock p.m.? That works for me. I'll send you a new invite for that time. Great. I'll look out for it. Is there anything else you need from me in the meantime? No, that's it for now. Again, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, and I appreciate your flexibility. Of course. We're all in this together, and I'm happy to be flexible when needed. Thanks for letting me know, and I'll see you tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Sounds good. Have a good rest of your day. Let's catch up. Hey, long time no talk. How have you been? I've been good, thanks. How about you? Same here, just keeping busy with work and all. It feels like we haven't talked in ages, though. I know, right? We definitely need to catch up. Yes, let's make a plan to get together soon. Maybe we could grab coffee or something. That sounds great. How about next Saturday afternoon? I think I should be free then. Where would you like to meet? How about that new coffee shop on Main Street? I heard they have really good pastries. Perfect. Let's meet there at 2 o'clock p.m. Sounds good to me. I can't wait to hear about what you've been up to. Likewise. It will be great to catch up and see how things are going with you. Definitely. And who knows, maybe we can plan some other fun things to do together in the future. Absolutely. 
I'm looking forward to it. Get. Hey, have you heard about the new job opening at that company we were talking about? Hi. Yes, I got wind of it yesterday. It seems like a great opportunity. I'm thinking of applying. That's fantastic. I think you'd be a perfect fit for the role. Did you get a chance to review the job description? Absolutely. I got my hands on it and it aligns perfectly with my skills and experience. That's excellent to hear. I think you have a strong chance of getting the job. Have you updated your resume? Yes, I got started on that right away. I want to make sure it highlights my accomplishments and stands out. Great. Getting your resume polished is an important step. Did you get any feedback from your references? Yes, I reached out to them and got their confirmation. They're ready to provide glowing recommendations. That's wonderful. Having strong references can really boost your chances of getting hired. Have you thought about the interview process? Indeed, I've been thinking about potential interview questions and how I can showcase my skills and enthusiasm. That's a smart approach. I think with your preparation and qualifications, you'll get the job for sure. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate your support and encouragement. I'll keep you updated on how it goes. Should I make any changes to my diet? Hey, I've been thinking about starting a new workout routine, but I'm not sure where to begin. Can you help? Of course. I would suggest recommend that you start by setting specific fitness goals. Determine what you want to achieve, whether it's weight loss, strength building, or overall fitness. That makes sense. Once I have my goals in mind, what should I do next? I would suggest recommend that you do some research and find a workout program that aligns with your goals and interests. There are many resources available, such as fitness apps, online tutorials, or even joining a gym or fitness class. That sounds promising. What about nutrition? Should I make any changes to my diet? Absolutely. I would suggest recommend that you focus on maintaining a balanced and nutritious diet. Incorporate plenty of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. It's also important to stay hydrated and limit processed foods and sugary drinks. Thanks for the advice. One more thing. How can I stay motivated? and consistent with my new routine? Great question. I would suggest recommend that you find an accountability partner or join a fitness community. Having someone to share your progress with and keep you motivated can make a big difference. Additionally, track your progress and celebrate small milestones along the way to stay motivated. That's really helpful. I appreciate your guidance. I'm excited to get started on my fitness journey. You're welcome. Remember, consistency is key. Stay committed to your goals, and you'll see progress over time. Good luck. Cleaning the house. Alright, Tim, now it's time to clean the house. Let's turn this into a fun challenge. We'll clean each room and see who finishes first. I love the idea, Sarah. It'll make the task more enjoyable. I'll start with the living room. You take the kitchen. Deal. Grabs a broom and start sweeping oops. I accidentally knocked over the dustpan. I'll get it. Haha, <laughs> no worries, Sarah. I'll help you with that. 
Let's try again. Thanks, Tim. Okay, let's get back to cleaning. Oops, I guess I squeezed the bottle too hard. It's okay, Sarah. We can clean up the spill together. Just be a bit more gentle next time. As the siblings continue cleaning, they face more clumsy moments and small mishaps, but they laugh them off and help each other. The house slowly starts to shine, and the atmosphere becomes lighter amidst their clumsy cleaning adventures. They realize that even in challenging situations, finding joy and supporting each other makes the tasks easier to handle. Look, Tim. The kitchen is sparkling clean now. I finished first. Congratulations, Sarah. But don't forget, we're a team. The important thing is that we worked together and made the house beautiful. Great job. The siblings share a high five, feeling a sense of accomplishment and camaraderie. Cleaning the house may have been a clumsy endeavor, but the memories they created and the bond they strengthened made it all worthwhile. Are you ready to conquer the irregular verb maze and level up your English skills? Join us as we embark on a dynamic and engaging exploration of common regular verbs, providing you with the tools for fluency and confidence. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Take. Hi, did you take your umbrella today? It looks like it might rain. Hi, yes, I took it with me. I learned my lesson from last time when I got caught in the rain without it. Good thinking. It's always better to be prepared. By the way, have you taken any new classes this semester? Yes, I took a photography class. I wanted to enhance my skills and learn more about composition and lighting. That's fantastic. I'm sure you'll take amazing photos. Did you take any interesting shots recently? Yes, I took some pictures of the sunset last weekend. The colors were breathtaking. I'd love to see them sometime. You have a talent for capturing beautiful moments. Have you taken any trips lately? Not yet, but I took a vacation last month and went hiking in the mountains. The views were incredible. That sounds like a wonderful adventure. I should take a trip like that too. By the way, have you taken your dog for a walk today? Yes, I took him to the park earlier. He loves running around and playing with other dogs. That's great. It's important to take care of our furry friends. Thanks for sharing. No problem. Anytime. If you ever want to take a hike or need photography tips, just let me know. Get. Hey, have you heard about the new job opening at that company we were talking about? Hi. Yes, I got wind of it yesterday. It seems like a great opportunity. I'm thinking of applying. That's fantastic. I think you'd be a perfect fit for the role. Did you get a chance to review the job description? Absolutely. I got my hands on it and it aligns perfectly with my skills and experience. That's excellent to hear. I think you have a strong chance of getting the job. Have you updated your resume? Yes, I got started on that right way. I want to make sure it highlights my accomplishments and stands out. Great. Getting your resume polished is an important step. Did you get any feedback from your references? Yes, I reached out to them and got their confirmation. They're ready to provide glowing recommendations. That's wonderful. Having strong references can really boost your chances of getting hired. Have you thought about the interview process? Indeed. I've been thinking about potential interview questions and how I can showcase my skills and enthusiasm. That's a smart approach. 
I think with your preparation and qualifications, you'll get the job for sure. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate your support and encouragement. I'll keep you updated on how it goes. Run. Hey, have you been running regularly lately? I heard you joined the running club. Yes, I've been running with the club for a few weeks now. It's been a great experience. That's awesome. How often do you run with them? Do you run every day? The club meets three times a week, and we run together for about an hour each time. That sounds like a good routine. Have you run any races with the club yet? Not yet, but we're planning to participate in a local marathon next month. I'm excited. That's impressive. I think you'll do great. Have you ever run a marathon before? Yes, I ran one a few years ago. It was challenging, but crossing the finish line was an incredible feeling. I can only imagine. Running a marathon is a remarkable accomplishment. Did you run with a specific goal in mind? Absolutely. I ran to challenge myself and push my limits. It's a great way to improve both physically and mentally. I admire your determination. I think running can be a transformative activity. Have you ever run for a charitable cause? Yes, I ran a charity race last year to raise funds for cancer research. It was a rewarding experience. That's inspiring. I think running for a cause adds extra meaning to the miles. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Your support means a lot. If you ever want to join me for a run, let me know. Tim, this is so scary. I can't believe mom and dad have been kidnapped. What are we going to do? I know, Sarah, but we need to stay strong. We have a list of requests from the kidnappers, and if we complete them, they promise to let mom and dad come back soon. Okay, let's focus. First, we need to make breakfast. I remember mom's pancake recipe. We can try making it. That's a good idea. We'll do our best to make a delicious breakfast just like mom does. Next, we have to clean the entire house. We should start by picking up the mess and then dusting and vacuuming each room. We'll make the house spotless, Sarah. It's a big task, but we can do it together. We also need to buy groceries and vegetables. We'll have to make a shopping list and go to the store. Yes, and we'll be careful with the budget. We'll make sure to get everything we need and stick to the list. Lastly, there are things around the house that need fixing. We can try to repair them or find someone who can help us. We'll take it one step at a time, Sarah. We'll complete the requests and hopefully mom and dad will be back soon. All right, Tim, now it's time to clean the house. Let's turn this into a fun challenge. We'll clean each room and see who finishes first. I love the idea, Sarah. It'll make the task more enjoyable. I'll start with the living room. You take the kitchen. Deal. Grabs a broom and start sweeping oops. I accidentally knocked over the dustpan. I'll get it. Haha, <laughs> no worries, Sarah. I'll help you with that. Let's try again. Thanks, Tim. Okay, let's get back to cleaning. Oops, I guess I squeezed the bottle too hard. It's okay, Sarah. We can clean up the spill together. Just be a bit more gentle next time.
As the siblings continue cleaning, they face more clumsy moments and small mishaps, but they laugh them off and help each other. The house slowly starts to shine, and the atmosphere becomes lighter amidst their clumsy cleaning adventures. They realize that even in challenging situations, finding joy and supporting each other makes the tasks easier to handle. Look, Tim. The kitchen is sparkling clean now. I finished first. Congratulations, Sarah. But don't forget, we're a team. The important thing is that we work together and made the house beautiful. Great job. The siblings share a high five, feeling a sense of accomplishment and camaraderie. Cleaning the house may have been a clumsy endeavor, but the memories they created and the bond they strengthened made it all worthwhile. Outfit Recommendations at the Clothes Shop Hi there! I'm in need of some outfit recommendations for a casual day out. Can you help me? Absolutely! I'd be happy to assist you. What kind of style are you looking for? I'm going for a comfortable and relaxed look but still want to appear put together. Any suggestions? I recommend starting with a nice pair of jeans or chinos. They're versatile and can be dressed up or down. How about trying on this pair of slim fit jeans? Sounds good. What would go well with them? A classic white t-shirt or a striped shirt would be a great choice. It's simple yet stylish. Take a look at these options. I like the striped shirt. What about footwear? For a casual day out. You can go with sneakers or loafers. They'll add a touch of comfort and style to your outfit. Take a look at these pairs over here. Those sneakers look perfect. Do you have any accessories that would complement the look? Absolutely. A stylish watch or a simple bracelet can add a nice finishing touch. Let me show you some options. Thank you so much for your help. I appreciate it. You're welcome. It was my pleasure assisting you. Have fun putting together your casual and stylish outfit for your day out. I decline that. Would you like to come to the concert with me tonight? It's going to be a lot of fun. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm going to have to decline that. Oh, okay. Is there a reason why? I have to work on a project for my job that's due tomorrow. I won't have time to go to the concert and get it done. I see. Well, maybe we can do something another time when you're not as busy. That sounds like a good idea. Thanks for understanding. No problem at all. I hope your project goes well. Thanks, me too. It's a big one, so I need to focus. I understand. Good luck with it. Thanks. I'll let you know when I'm done and we can figure out a time to hang out. Sounds like a plan. Take care. You too. Bye for now. Bye. I suggest that we That's a great point. Sometimes we tend to rush into decisions without exploring alternative ideas. How do you propose we approach this? Well, first, we should encourage brainstorming sessions where everyone feels comfortable sharing their suggestions. It's important to create an open and non-judgmental environment. Absolutely. Everyone's input should be valued and considered. We can foster a culture of active listening where we attentively hear each other's ideas. I completely agree. Additionally, we could implement a structured evaluation process 
where we objectively assess each suggestion's pros and cons. This way, we can weigh all the possibilities before reaching a conclusion. That's a solid suggestion. By systematically analyzing the options, we can make more informed decisions and avoid overlooking valuable perspectives. Exactly. By following this approach, we can maximize our chances of finding the best solution. It's about tapping into the collective intelligence of the team. I'm on board with your suggestion. Let's give it a try and see how it enhances our decision-making process. I believe it will lead to more comprehensive and thoughtful outcomes. Agreed. I'm confident that by implementing this approach, we'll make better choices and foster a collaborative and innovative team dynamic. Let's start incorporating it into our workflow right away. You're a really talented artist. You're a really talented artist. Thank you so much. I've been working really hard to improve my skills. Well, it definitely shows. I love how unique and creative your artwork is. Thank you. I'm always trying to come up with new and interesting ideas. Have you ever thought about doing an art show or selling your work? Actually, yes. I've been considering putting together a collection and having an exhibit. That's a great idea. I'm sure a lot of people would love to see your work. Thank you. It's a little scary to put yourself out there, but I think it would be a great experience. Definitely. And you never know who might see your work and want to commission you for something. That's true. I've always wanted to make a career out of my art, but I've been too afraid to take the leap. Well, I have faith in you. You're incredibly talented. And I think you could definitely make a name for yourself in the art world. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place. I'll diss my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose fits. Some loose shit. The stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson.